It was hard to open my eyes. I had been in such a deep sleep, but something just didn't feel right. I stretched out my arm to reach for my clock, but instead, I felt a hard stone floor. I opened my eyes and blinked a few times before things came into focus. I sat bolt upright. I was in a bank vault, and I was surrounded by money. Lots of money. Suddenly, I heard the sound of the vault door opening. I looked up and saw a group of policemen standing there. You're under arrest. I froze in shock. But before I go on, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell or you may find yourself under arrest too. I looked up and saw a group of policemen standing there. I froze. But hold up, you're probably wondering how I got to this point. Well, I need to start from the beginning for this all to make sense. Let's go back to where it all began. I grew up in a typical middle-class family. My dad was a teacher and my mom stayed at home and looked after me. But one day, things all changed. My mom disappeared without a trace. No one knew what happened to her. One day, she left to get some groceries, but she didn't come back. Days went by with no sign of her. Before long, the days had turned into weeks and the weeks had turned into years. Eventually, she was presumed dead. No body was ever found, though. I think that was the most difficult part. I always felt like there was an empty hole in my heart because I couldn't get closure. I'm not really sure how I managed to get through high school, but somehow I did. I graduated and then I went to college. I was so happy to start at college. It was a fresh start, something to focus on instead of always thinking about my mom. I had been at college for about two weeks and finally finding my feet. It had taken me a while to settle in, but now I was feeling confident. I had just finished my morning lectures and was on my way to the canteen when something stopped me in my tracks. Walking towards me was the cutest boy I had ever laid eyes on. As he went past me, I stole a quick glance at him out of the corner of my eye. He had obviously noticed me looking because he gave me a wink and smiled, his eyes lighting up at the same time. I hurried off to the canteen before he could see my blushes. After that, I saw him everywhere around college. He was always surrounded by a group of girls hanging on his every word. I knew that I didn't stand a chance of getting a date with him. He could get any girl he wanted. No way was he going to choose me. But I was wrong. One day, the unexpected happened. I was sitting on my own in the canteen when he came over and introduced himself to me. Hi, I'm Timothy. It's Julia, isn't it? I nodded. He knows my name. <laughs> That's gotta be good, hasn't it? Look... I have something I want to give you. He handed me a letter. Don't read it now. Wait until after classes are finished. I put the letter into my bag and watched as he walked away. I wonder what that's all about. As soon as my last class had finished, I pulled out the letter and began to read it. Dear Julia, even though we don't really know each other, I have really strong feelings for you. I hope that you feel the same way too. Would you like to go out on a date with me? My heart was literally soaring and I felt like I was on cloud nine. I stuffed the letter back into my bag and ran out of the college building. I could see Timothy standing outside the gates. Is he waiting for me? Hi, Julia. Did you read the letter? Yeah, I did. And the answer is yes. I would love to go on a date with you. From that moment on, we were inseparable. We spent all of our free time together and it wasn't long before Timothy wanted to move to the next level. Julia, I'm not interested in any other girls. I want us to be exclusive. I couldn't believe what he was saying. It was as if all my dreams had come true. I want that too. You are the only one for me. So does that mean you'll be my girlfriend? Absolutely. Timothy put his arms around me and gave me a big hug. I had never felt so happy in my life. Everything was exactly the way I wanted it to be. It was at times like these that I really wished my mom was here. She would have loved Timothy. After we both graduated from college, we decided to move in together. It didn't take us long to find an apartment that we both loved. I had been really lucky. The first job I had applied for, they hired me. I was going to be working as an assistant manager of a magazine company. It was a dream job. I couldn't believe how lucky I was. But unfortunately, things didn't go quite as well for Timothy. He had graduated as a fashion designer, but nobody wanted to hire him. I felt really bad for him when time after time, he received the rejection email. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Why won't someone give me a chance? You'll get something soon. I'm convinced of it. But Timothy just got more and more depressed. 
He had interview after interview, but he never got offered a job. I tried not to talk about my job when I was around him, because the odd times that I did mention it, he just seemed to clam up. He wasn't his usual cheerful self anymore either. Most of the time, he just moped around the apartment, feeling sorry for himself. Which is why it came as a surprise when he told me that he wanted us to go out for dinner with his friends. We deserve a night out, Julia, and I want you to meet all of my friends. That sounds great, Timothy. I can't wait to meet them. It was nice to see him looking happy about something for a change. Timothy arranged for us to go out with them the following Saturday night. I bought a new dress and spent hours on my hair and makeup. I really wanted to make a good impression. But when we got to the restaurant, I was surprised to see who his friends were. They all looked like thugs and didn't seem to be the kind of people Timothy would be friends with. I really didn't enjoy the evening at all. Everything any of them said was always really mean. They spoke badly to the waitress and complained about everything from the food to the decor. When we got home, I told Timothy how I felt. I'm just really shocked that you would be friends with people like that. They didn't have one nice thing to say about anybody. They look like real thugs, too. You shouldn't be so judgmental, Julia. I thought you were better than that. I did feel bad when Timothy said that, so I agreed to give them a second chance. You're right, maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. Why don't you organize another night out with them? Maybe things will go better next time. The following week, we arranged to meet with them at the restaurant again. I was working, so I told Timothy that I would meet him there. When I arrived, I saw his friend sitting at the bar. Hi there! Has Timothy not arrived yet? No, he said he's running a bit late. We're just having a drink whilst we wait for him. I waited to see if anyone would ask me if I wanted a drink, but they just chatted to each other and ignored me. I got myself a glass of lemonade and sat down with them. They didn't seem to notice I was there and just carried on with their conversation. I'm just fed up with not having any money. Me too. We really need to do something about it. You're right. It's time to take matters into our own hands. We should rob a bank. I couldn't believe they were actually seriously discussing the possibility of robbing a bank. You can't do that. That's wrong. But they just laughed at my words. I decided I wouldn't say anymore. When Timothy finally arrived, I couldn't contain myself anymore. You won't believe what your friends are planning to do. They are going to rob a bank. Timothy looked at me. He had an odd expression on his face. Stop freaking out, Julia. There's no way they were talking about that. Timothy went to the bathroom, leaving me alone with his friends. Don't you dare tell anyone what you've heard tonight, or you'll live to regret it. You can't threaten me. I can do whatever I want. I will tell the police what you're planning. They all looked at me with a weird smirk on their faces. You won't be awake enough to tell the police. I felt so confused. What do they mean I won't be awake enough? Suddenly, I began to feel really drowsy, and I couldn't keep my eyes open. The next thing I knew, everything went black. It was hard to open my eyes. I had been in such a deep sleep, but something just didn't feel right. I stretched out my arm to reach for my clock, but instead, I felt a hard stone floor. I opened my eyes and blinked a few times before things came into focus. I sat bolt upright. I was in a bank vault, and I was surrounded by money. Lots of money. Suddenly, I heard the sound of the vault door opening. I looked up and saw a group of policemen standing there. You're under arrest. The police led me out of the vault and took me straight to the police station. I was taken into an interrogation room where two police hurled a barrage of questions at me. Just tell us who else is in your gang. Give us some names. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know how I ended up in that vault. You have to believe me. They went on and on, but I kept on denying everything. I'm sorry. The only thing I know is a group of thugs said they were planning to rob a bank. I told the police all about Timothy's friends and what they had said at the restaurant, but they thought I was lying. Come on, we know that's not the truth. Just admit what you've done. Please, call Timothy. He will tell you what I'm saying is true. He can back me up. But the police couldn't seem to reach him. He wasn't at home, and he wasn't answering his phone. Where is he? I was starting to get a bit worried by then. The thought did cross my <laughs> mind that Timothy could be involved too. Just when I was about to give up the hope of ever getting out of the police station, someone knocked on the door of the interrogation room. Excuse me, Sergeant. We have the footage from the CCTV cameras now. He handed over a tape and the policeman began to play it. Well, it seems like you were telling the truth after all. I looked at the screen. It showed me being carried into the vault by five people in disguise. I tried to see if any of the people looked like Timothy. One of them definitely seemed to have a smaller body shape to him, but I couldn't be sure. I didn't say anything to the police about my suspicions, though. 
Does this mean I'm free to go? It certainly does. I left the police station and went straight home. When I got there, I went into the living room and sat down on the couch. What is going on? Is Timothy involved in this? Suddenly, I heard a noise from outside. My heart started racing and adrenaline surged through my body. I looked around for something to use as a weapon. In the corner of a room was Timothy's baseball bat. I picked it up and was just about to go outside when Timothy walked through the room door. Timothy, what's going on? You owe me an explanation. What have you got me caught up in? I'm sorry, Julia. I should have been honest with you before. Timothy began to explain it all. I'm an undercover cop. After I graduated from college, I got an offer from the local police to work undercover for them, so I agreed. The money was too good to refuse. I had no idea that you would get dragged into this and get hurt. Please forgive me. I was shocked at first, but then I gave in. Of course, I forgive you. What you are doing is really a good thing. These criminals have to be stopped. I was mostly just glad that he wasn't one of the criminals. Oh, don't worry. They're all in custody now. They're not going to be able to do anything else to you. I ran over to him and gave him a big hug. It felt good to have his arms around me. But just when I had finally started to relax, I heard an almighty crash. The door flew open and the room filled with people wearing black clothing and full face masks. Ah! But as soon as the scream left my lips, I froze in shock. One of the people had taken off their mask. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was my mom. Darling, get away from Timothy, she yelled. I was frozen. What's going on? Want to know what happens next? Get this video to 30,000 likes and we'll post part two. Trust me, things get real spicy.